Are you serious? Are you serious? Folks, we're getting information. We're hearing rumors uh, that President Donald Trump, of course, is going to be meeting with Russian President Vladimir Putin. Now, they're going to be meeting at the G20 summit. A lot of folks in the media are, are wringing their hands and are acting like this is a dangerous type meeting. But I'm getting more information now that this is just an introduction. Of course, Trump's going to be at the G20. It's a very important meeting for everyone in the world. And we're talking about the economic powers of the world gathering. But rumors are that Trump and Putin may then schedule a power summit. I'm not saying it's a superpower summit because if they was to include China, that would certainly make it that. But a power summit that it may actually be in Moscow or in Washington. Either way, it'd be a two-part summit. One meeting would be in Moscow, one meeting would be in Washington, and you talk about sending a message to uh, the hand ringers over in uh, the left, Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer and that whole crowd of the lamestream, mainstream, fake news media. I mean, they'll just completely freak out if there if this gets announced so i want you to and what would they be talking about well obviously the last thing you want in the world is for united states and russia to be at each other's throats to be threatening each other we don't need a return to the cold war even though that's what a lot of them on the left want instead what trump is trying to do masterfully he's starting the peace process in the middle east he realizes that the enemy for everyone is ISIS and radical Islam. He already went to Saudi Arabia and was had a warm welcome there where he addressed 54 Arabic nations and told them, look, your problem is radical Islam and you need to drive them out of your out of your ideology. You need to you need to drive them out of your countries. You need to bring them to their knees and change this ideology. Well, we've seen a response. King Salman changed who's going to be the next Saudi, the next uh, king of Saudi Arabia. There's a new Saudi crown prince. He's chosen his son, who's only 31 years old. His son has been already very adamant that he believes women should have rights. They should be allowed to drive cars. They should be allowed to go shopping in public without being chaperoned. I mean, this is unbelievable change in Saudi Arabia. He also has been saying that the young people, that they need to be allowed to be entrepreneurs and, to be, and participate in commerce and start businesses and, and be allowed to do trade uh, internationally. This is a huge shift in the mentality. So by appointing him as the next king of Saudi Arabia, there is a shift going on right now to change, especially in the Sunni world. Having said that, that means Trump has got some, uh, has got that process started. Meanwhile, he works on a peace process with the Palestinians and the Jews, which that's very difficult. And as that's going on, and Kirshner's first visit was pretty intense with the boss, but that's okay. That's the hammer before the olive branch, and that's part of the art of the deal in the uh, Trump book he wrote. And then, of course, there's now Russia and the United States. So will there be a power summit? I'm not going to call it a power peace summit because we're supposed to be at peace with Russia, but a power summit. Is it going to be announced after the G20, will a date get set? After the initial introduction, the meeting between Vladimir Putin, President of Russia, and President Trump. Well, we'll see. I'll be back with more current world events and how they relate to biblical prophecy. Certainly, we're living in a time I never thought I'd ever see. Are you saved? Give your life to Jesus Christ. We are in the last days.